things that we found uh, frequently with women, but also with men, is that oftentimes where there is a substance use disorder, there are usually other co-occurring issues. And when you explore, what you'll find is there are a lot of people who struggle with eating disorders. Um, in fact, there is a pretty high correlation between people who struggle with eating disorders who also have gone on to develop substance use disorders. A lot of the time it's sort of like a chicken and egg situation, like which one came first, and obviously it varies. But one of the things I found through my own experiences in working with these populations is that typically the eating disorder will start around maybe middle school or high school age and then the individual is then introduced to drugs or alcohol and pretty quickly they learn that the drugs or the alcohol become a better way to either stave off the appetite or you know distract them from a lot of the obsessive thoughts that come with an eating disorder. People will describe when they struggle with an eating disorder they have running thoughts, they're thinking about weight, they're thinking about calories in their food, um, they're thinking about the number on the scale, and it really consumes them. So, you know, drinking or using certain drugs is their way of finding some peace and rest away from that constant running thought that they're having about the eating disorder symptoms. It's really important to treat both issues at the same time because what we see is that if you treat just the substance use disorder without the eating disorder, what you'll see is while the individual is working on the substance use symptoms, the eating disorder typically will increase because the individual is clinging on to some sort of behavior, usually the eating disorder behavior, and that will oftentimes get worse. And then what will happen is through using the eating disorder symptoms, the individual is likely to then spiral back into using substances. So, and the same is true if you're treating just the eating disorder without the substance use. So really what has been um, found to be most effective is to treat both of them at the same time so that you're really kind of attacking both problems from various angles and not really allowing either one a chance to rise up when the other one is being addressed. So at Boca Recovery Center, we meet with the individual and we assess their history for eating issues. And we also will ensure that they are meeting criteria in terms of being of a healthy weight. We really try to explore their eating habits because oftentimes when somebody's been engaged in substance use disorder, their nutritional needs are not necessarily what they've been focusing on. So we really take a look at what kind of food choices they make. We will take them to the grocery store and we assist them in developing shopping lists. And they are also um, able to go through the grocery store with a behavioral health tech who can really guide them in terms of some of the choices that they're making. If there are needs, we will have our medical department also prescribe for them some food supplements. If they need to work on some weight gain, for example, or if they are not getting enough protein in their diet, these are things that we can address. And in addition to that, through psychotherapy and groups, we're able to also work on any of the dysfunctional thought processes that they may have around their body image or food and the way that other people see them. Boca Recovery Center really places a, a strong value and an emphasis on living a healthy lifestyle. And what that means is not just abstaining from using any substances, but it also means um, eating well. It means having a balanced life socially, um, working in an environment that is favorable and is not going to lead back to any bad habits um, and also things like going to the gym. We have gyms at our properties so that the clients are able to work out and we're also able to give them guidance and education on what would be appropriate training sessions to embark upon so that they're not overtraining. We really try to encourage people to have an active and healthy lifestyle. <music>